Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at Ninox database available for the iPhone and the iPad. Open up the application and it's going to bring us in to where I can see all the databases that are currently on my device. So right now I have 12 meetings and that's a database that currently lives here on my device. If I want to create a new database, just add a new database. And what this will do is ask me to enter in a name and choose if I want to store this database locally or on iCloud. Now, if I choose one or the other locally, obviously it's going to take up the local storage of my device. iCloud, it'll still take up local storage, but the advantage of using iCloud is that if I open up Ninox database, say on another iOS device, I'll actually be able to see that database and import it into my device there. So choose your options there and you'll be able to begin editing your database. Now, if I wanted to, I can actually create a database from a template by tapping on from template and this will allow me to choose a template. Currently the two selected languages I have are English and German, and I can see a few different ones. I have a to-do list, invoices, recipes, stamps, triggers, app reviews, and even cocktails. Tapping on any one of these will go ahead and open up an actual import. So I have a to-do and I have a local storage, and if I import that database, it's gonna import the entire template for me, and I begin editing based upon that template. Now in the 12 meetings, if I tap on here, I can see clients and companies. These are two different um, data sheets that I have right here. So if I tap on clients, this will show me all my clients. I can sort them by tapping up here on the top of the screen, my company. I can do descending, so now it's based upon all the companies that are descending. I can also do first name, last name, whatever column I wanted to do. I can filter those by tapping up there. I can even rename the column. Notice I can even set up functions like you normally would see in Excel. I can hide the column and even show the column. Now, if I wanted to, I can create a new record up at the top of the screen. I can add in all my bids, my customer number, my language, gender, first name, last name, company ID. I can even keep adding the plus button here, adding special instructions or appointments, add the plus button next to company, and I can fill out all the information there as well. I can even see new clients, which is another tab. So currently I have all, and then I can filter down to new clients. If I tap the wrench icon in the top right hand corner, that's going to allow me to go ahead and edit these different options down here. I can see that these ones even include nice images of the person as I go ahead and view those. And I can see all their company name and even their email address. Now if I hit the clients up here in the top left hand corner, if I hit that X, it's gonna close out that sheet. I'm gonna hop into company, and now I can see this chart currently has no data. I need to configure at least one number column in all of our views. So tapping the plus button, I can add a new view name. Or if I wanted to, I can go ahead and tap up here in the top right hand corner and select a column. If I want to display as a table, chart, or print view, I can go ahead and find, edit, and remove all those different options there. Now on clients, notice there's that little hamburger icon. If I tap on that, I can do interactions. This will allow me to choose all my active interactions, to do's, or even view all. And these can be based upon what I've set up in my template. I can add in a new interaction just by tapping on a new name. And I can even add in my remarks. I can see the types that I have, the all, and all those datums and types of remarks, and the last names that are going to follow those up. So those are all my interactions that I have with inside of that actual meeting ID there for my clients. I can import or export data from there as well. I can view my calendar to show me what's coming up on my calendar. I have different view days, seven days, one day, five days, and I can only show working hours if I wanted to just to filter out those working hours from my office. So that's a great feature. I have a search field up here in the top left-hand corner where I can find what I'm looking for. So if I was looking for something specific, I can go and type in that search field. Hitting the home icon will take me back out to my main menu where I can see the stack that I'm currently in, which was my 12 meetings. Hitting the hamburger icon, I can do a save archive as, duplicate, rename database, or go ahead and close out of here. So now that I've closed out of here, if I hit the hamburger icon on my main database, what that'll do is I can save archive, duplicate, rename, or delete, or I can go up to my options and I can rate, view my user manual, get support, and even visit the website. Now one last thing I wanted to touch on before we go ahead and close this out is our table editor. So I'm gonna jump into my 12 meetings. I'm gonna hit that gear icon in the top right hand corner and I'm gonna tap on my data model. This is to show me where things are going based upon the actual model of the tables. So if I tap on company, this is gonna be my table editor. So I have my table name, which is company. I have a trigger, trigger after, or even my global unique identifier. 
Now the fields that I have available, which we already showed where the company, city, street, state, region, zip, and clients, I can drag and drop any of these new items. So if I wanted my number to be over here, I can drag number over there, enter in all my required field datas, and tap OK. If I wanted my phone to show up, drag over the phone, is it required, yes or no, and there's even more options to drag down below. So I can go ahead and drag and drop any of these field items, and if I save my changes, we'll go ahead and close out that gear icon, come into clients, and now all the clients will have all those fields that I just recently added whenever I view them. So I can go ahead and quickly add any of those new items by coming into one of these options. So once again, this application is called Ninox Database. If you like it, pick it up for your iPhone and iPad in the App Store.